I've got a lot of new stuff to show you this week, but before I do that, I wanted to make some sound effects. I've gone out and bought a basketball and I'm gonna use it to record a bunch of sounds that I'll then edit and use in the game. Since this room is still pretty empty, I'm gonna use these two yoga mats to try and remove some of that reverb. Then inside Unity I'll bring the reverb back using an audio reverb zone to make the sounds fit the size of the chord that you will play in. Now let's take a look at the menu where you can customize your player and team. This is still very much a work in progress, I just wanted to get most of the things onto the screen right now, but the layout will change a lot over the next few months. I actually think we need a few more options for player customization, so let's do some more hairstyles, facial hairstyles, headbands and shoes. So if we now head into the actual game, you'll hear the new sounds. You might also notice that I've improved the net animation. As I said in the last devlog, I modeled and rigged the net instead and I can now manipulate it in a much better way to create these animations. I also added a reflection to the floor and a sound for when, at high speeds, there's friction between a player's shoes and the floor. All of this together I think gives the game a really good feel to it, but of course I'm interested in hearing what you think, so let me know if there's anything you believe needs to be improved. While playtesting the game, I've noticed that there are three things that I would like to take care of right away. Number one. There's really nothing to do in the game right now, and I've said that the customization is what matters for this alpha version, but I still like for people to have something to actually do. Then there's the fact that shooting from very far away is still something I haven't figured out what should happen when you do, so I'd like to prevent players from reaching the other far side of the court. And finally, I think the court itself looks too empty. So what I did in the end was that I added another character that blocks your path here and you can talk to him to open up a menu where you can launch a mini game from again it's a temporary menu and the look of it will improve over time also don't forget to turn on the music Once the alpha version is released, which shouldn't be long now, you can try to beat my high score of 87.67 seconds. No, my high score of 38.05 seconds, yeah. Also, now would be a good time to suggest some more hairstyles and so on over on Discord because I'm gonna sit down and create a few more items for the player customization one day this week. The invite link is discord.gg slash dreamon. That's all for this video, you can help me out by liking it, leaving a comment and subscribing. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.